والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم Question from Egypt Yes, wearing the accessories for women and showing them before the non-mahram. Allah okay. subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا They are not supposed to show their adornment except what normally appears such as the ring. Mm-hmm. But besides that, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also, وَلَا يَضْرِبْنَ بِأَرْجُلِهِنَّ لِيُعْلَمَ مَا يُخْفِينَ مِنْ زِينَتِهِمْ You're not supposed to do a move that strikes the adornment, the gold or the silver. The bracelets or the necklace or the anklets. So that it would announce your presence and would attract the viewers to look at you or people who are around. Remember that the zina or the adornment is only prescribed for you to wear before your husband. It is not to attract others, it is not to attract the viewers. And when the Nabi allowed women and encourage them, even women during their menses, to attend Salat al-Eid and to go out to the Musalla. He said, وَلْيَخْرُجْنَ تَفِلَاتِ The hmm. word tafilat means ordinary or even subordinary, not wearing any attraction. And the attraction is not only in the jewelry or in the adornment. The adornment could be your own clothes. It is very widespread now uh, to see women wearing what they think. It's hijab. But under any circumstances, this is not hijab. A scarf, which is very colorful, from every color, rainbow colors, wrapping their heads tightly, their necks tightly, wearing tight clothes, stretch clothes, and they call it hijab. That's a zina. And it is haram to show it to other than your husband. And there is a zina which is only limited to the husband. And there is a zina which is permissible to show before the mahr. And any zina is not allowed to uh, appear before an al-mahram because uh, it attracts them to look at you. And the purpose of the hijab is to be a barrier between you and people who are not your mahram so that they wouldn't look at you. يَخْرُجْنَ تَفِلَاتِ They go out very ordinary, not wearing any adornment. This is the proper way and that's why when some of the viewers ask, what is the dress code for a Muslim? There is no such dress code that you don't have to wear a specific dress. I would say, yes, they were in Saudi or they were in Pakistan. And they were... No, any clothes that covers the aura of any color, that's permissible. Any clothes which are wide, spacious, loose, not see-through, and long covering your body, these are the clothes of the hijab which cover the aura. Egypt. Okay, the comment Sheikh I had was that uh, I recently visited uh, uh, one of the countries, one of the Arab countries, and uh, I saw the hijab there. And the thing that was interesting... The so-called hijab. And the so-called hijab. Um, it was black totally, but every item of accessory possible, uh, a hijab with red hearts on it, or something on the back which is just shiny. And this becomes the norm now. I mean, it's, it's the norm. But everybody, it's very strange to see somebody in just plain clothing. Everything's attractive to some point. It's become part of uh, the normal dress. So some people are going to say, well, actually, this is hijab because this is not something which is strange. People don't look at it anymore. They don't see it as something being attractive. And that's why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned us again is that in a sound hadith, and he said, وَنِسَاءٌ كَاسِيَاتٌ عَارِيَاتٌ He began by saying that there will be women who are kasiyat. Kasiyat means they are dressed up. Mm-hmm. Yet, they're naked. You know, the Satan designers who are designing these clothes, even the aba'ah, Really which bad, is yeah. covering the niqab yes. and glitter all over mm-hmm. with the hood, with the accessories, with gold and silver on their clothes. And the shiny clothes, which are revealing the details of the body. So when whatever the woman moves, any move she makes, it would show a part of her body. This is only for your bedroom. This is only for your husband. What is the purpose of wearing the zina? Is a mean of attraction to your spouse. Right? is a mean of attraction to your spouse. But if you wear whatever you wear to attract others, then you are similar to a woman who is wearing new fashions, or mini skirt or tight jeans, because you have the same mentality. If you stand before the mirror for an hour, more or less, to adjust yourself, to appear pretty, to appear very attractive, then what difference is it between you and a woman who is not wearing hijab at all? But if you stand before the mirror to make sure that you're not wearing any attraction to any person, 
Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited perfumes for women upon going out, even to the masjid? said, if you happen to go to the masjid wearing any perfume, go back and wash it off. Or else, there is a great threat. Why? Because whether a perfume, or wearing any glitter or jewelry, which make noise to announce your presence, cause attraction to the non-mahram. To any person, look, who's he? Who, who's she? Who's here? So by that, by bringing their eyes into your body to look at you, this is not uh, a hijab. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our Muslim uh, sisters to what's best.